you know because they have to stay long time on their bed on their on their wheelchair so they develop a big bed sores which are very difficult to heal the another innovative research which we're doing is that we wish because uh, the final treatment if the wound do not heal the another uh, uh, treatment which is given for the wound healing is that so hello everyone my name is dr dalit i welcome you all in the tesu sport coaching to bahut sare bacche jinhone abhi exam ko qualified kiya hai csi net ke to ab wo dhoond rahe honge ki unke liye preferable area kya rahega unke liye acha research area kya rahega to hum log ek series lekar aa rahe hain jisme bahut sare renowned scientists jo hain hamare sath discuss karenge to usi series mein dr pooja ma'am hamare sath mein पूजा मैम अपना रिसर्च एक्सपीरियंस हमारे साथ शेयर करेंगी साथ साथ में अगर मैं बताऊं पूजा मैम ने अपना पीएचडी जो कंप्लीट किया है वो नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इम्यूनोलॉजी जो कि जे एन यू के अंडर में आता है इसके बाद मैम ने डी और आईसीजीबी जैसे बहुत ही रेपूटेड रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूशन में भी जो काम किया वेलकम मैम थैंक यू फॉर इन्वाइटिंग मी टूडे आई एम डिस्कसिंग विल डिस्कस अबाउट माई रिसर्च एरिया Uh, see, I worked uh, from if I talk about my PhD, so I worked with the uh, and then I at the Dr. Pramod Upadhyay, where I worked with the uh, tuberculosis vaccine. So uh, all of you know that BCG is a vaccine which is given is an injectable vaccine. Uh, when we thought about an idea with what to work about, so we were plan to think that can we give a vaccine through nasal route. so where uh, this whole idea was created that we developed a aerosolized mycobacterium tuberculosis vaccine uh, which is called mw prani and afterward i pursued with drdo where i worked in uh, various areas of product development we developed uh, some product which is relevant to military you know our military is uh, uh, you know stay in a remote areas so where they they need uh, some protectants in a high altitude areas and then they need a wound management because they also protect our uh, our nation so at remote area they may get a sudden gun injury or sudden sudden any kind of injury where they wanted to uh, suddenly uh, stop the flow of the blood so we develop kytosin ba- uh, based wound healing system wound sealing system i should say which is immediately clog the blood at the spot so saving lots of blood in it uh, then i moved to uh, indian spinal injury center where i worked as a head of research department uh, there i developed uh, <coughs> the main research area was spinal cord injury as you know uh, person with a spinal cord injury you know they get paralyzed whenever they get a spine because our neurons cannot Uh, regenerate. regenerate or redevelop so uh, people are from uh, many years they are trying to regenerate uh, these uh, nerve cells but we haven't get so much of uh, success that it can be regenerated in human system people are trying with the stem cell they are directly injecting some some the stem cells but uh, still we are uh, little far from the success but uh, apart from the uh, healing the sub- spinal cord injury there is also some comorbidity which exist along with the spinal cord injury so there is one major comorbidity which happens to a spinal cord injury patient that they suffer a lot of bed sores you know because they have to stay long time on the bed on their on their wheelchair so they develop a big bed sores which are very difficult to heal so uh, we tried two approaches to heal them the first approach where we wanted to give a we uh, injected a platelet rich plasma and wanted to see the how they easily can be healed and fortunately we get a very good results so we were in developing a platelet rich plasma by taking out their blood enriching it the platelet present in them and reinjecting them in the wound site itself so uh, uh, we used to give a two injection um, every week and they were you know try to follow them the healing pattern of their wound and we got a very good results that healing was much faster as compared to the normal healing the another innovative research which we're doing is that we wish because uh, the final treatment if the wound do not heal the another uh, uh, treatment which is given for the wound healing is that flap surgery so what is a flap surgery flap surgery where you remove a part of another 
muscle and replace it back at the wound site after clearing it. So there is a, a problem of comorbidity of the donor site. So what we wanted to do is, can we develop certain kind of uh, wound healing system which can uh, you know heal themselves rather than putting up a flap surgery. So we develop uh, some uh, sponges which is called self-healing sponges. These are some natural biodegradable material. So when we uh, prepare these, uh, we made them in a scaffold like structure. So these scaffold can be cut into any shape based on their size and the shape. And it has uh, some property of stimulating the growth of the skins over there. So when uh, they are produced, so when uh, during in the OT site, uh, we have not done human trial, but we have done at the animal trial. So what we propose that when uh, patient get into OT, so these uh, wounds will be cleared off and that sponges will be filled in the wound area. After uh, filling it with the wound area, we cover it with the skin flap. So that wound is closed now, then, there is no need of uh, you know uh, uh, daily treatment or daily bandages. Now that it keeps on slowly healing and whole of the skin tissue is regenerated. Nice. So this is the one of the research we were doing out. I had a small question. You said in the starting that the vaccine for BCG, the TB vaccine, वो आप जो है इंटरडर्मली इंजेक्ट करते हैं आपका एक आईडिया था बहुत अच्छा था कि इंटरडर्मली ना देकर उसको आप नेजल के रूप से दे रहे हैं तो दोनों के दोनों प्रोस एंड कॉन्स क्या है एग्जैक्टली कि उसके नुकसान और फायदे क्या सी जब ये थॉट आया था उसमें दो रीजंस थे कि एक तो है आपको जब भी वैक्सीन देनी है आपको इंजेक्टेबल देनी पड़ेगी दैट इज यू देयर अ फियर ऑफ इंजेक्शन we do not know, but uh, there is one. This is a major uh, fear of injection or phobia of injection is a major concern in the population. That is one. And then um, definitely, when you inject a uh, needle, the the needle which is left over is always a needle prick. Uh, it can cause infection to other person also. The third and most and also, ma'am, expertise which I use. Definitely. And the third most important is that uh, idea was that. A vaccine should be delivered at a place where the organism usually grow. So if we talk about the TB, Lungs. it is majorly a lung disease. So idea was that uh, if we develop uh, directly inject uh, or uh, deliver the vaccine directly into the lung, More so effective. it may generate a robust immune, immune response, response, response which exactly. can stay longer. Today the BCG vaccine uh, is there, but it is uh, only 80% and even limited to the childhood. Childhood only for till 14 years it is acceptable. Then you again have to take a or mostly it is not effective at all. Booster, so, booster pass. Exactly. So idea was that we develop a nasal inhalable vaccine which can be you know taken up in adult age at any time and maybe if you wanted to give a frequent Doses, doses, maybe yearly or something like that. We can have a puff kind of system which can be directly inhaled uh, and multiple doses can be developed. Uh, other benefit of <coughs> aerosol vaccine was that, so these are the dry powder vaccines. So these can, you know, have shelf life of three to four years. Usually the vaccine which we give it, limited it has lifespan. to be a limited lifespan and has to be maintained a cold chain environment. Exactly. For uh, dry powder vaccine you need not to even, even ma'am carry karna ek place ek yes. place mein. that will so, be easy multiple jo hamara agar hum indian scenario mein dekhe to agar hum is tarah ki vaccines develop karte hain to it has a wider approach aapko uh, expertise nahi chahiye exactly. aapko aap distribution network ke liye cold chain ki zarurat nahi hai uh, hum ek limited resource ka uh, country hai to agar hamare paas uski shelf life lambi hoti hai to it is one time investment in exactly. it, right? Uh, you know, our procurement time is so long. So, if it is a expiry of 6 months, if it is a procurement of 3 months, then it is expiry of 3 months. Yes, hai. you cannot ex, uh, distribute, it, also. distribute exactly. Wo when we look at scenario ko hi research point of dekhte hai, to we always look for ki uska better solution or better version kya hoga. Success to definitely aati hai, ya we check, need to check it. Uh, animal model successful tha. Let's see human tak ho 
कहां तक पहुंच थैंक यू सो मच बस मैम लास्ट में एक बच्चों के लिए मैसेज जो इस फील्ड में रिसर्च करना चाहते हैं बहुत ही क्यूरियस रहते हैं कि क्या हमारा डिसीजन सही रहेगा फील्ड में अपॉर्चुनिटीज कैसी हैं कितना पेशेंस हमें रखना पड़ेगा बस एक लास्ट फील्ड में अपॉर्चुनिटी बहुत हैं बिकॉज कोविड के बाद आपने देखा होगा कि हेल्थ इज वेल्थ Everybody is working towards a healthy life and health structure. तो हमारे पास health में करने के लिए बहुत कुछ है India में We have a so many of the diseases which still we are looking for a better results. So only thing is patience. We need a patience. आप जब भी research में जाएँ आप ये मत सोच के जाइए कि आपके पास third year में या second year में आप एक कोई बहुत बड़ा product निकाल के लेके आ जाएंगे निकाल भी सकते हैं मैं ये नहीं डिनाई नहीं करूँगी बट डेफिनेटली इट कैन नॉट बी फॉर एवरी वन सो वो स्लो एंड स्टेडी प्रोसेस है बट इट नीड टू बी अ कंसिस्टेंसी कंसिस्टेंसी रिक्वायर्ड है तो डेफिनेटली आप बहुत कुछ कर सकते हैं थैंक यू सो मच मैम वेलकम